Skočil po bradě. O, oh, a naskočené kole. Teď Ben zkusil nastoupit do takedownu. At times, hype trains can obscure the vision of MMA fans with impenetrable smoke. When this happens, Yuri Prachaska emits a ray of hope. First, the Czech light heavyweight rapidly rose to fame in Japan. And once in the UFC, he needed just three fights to grab the belt. In this video, we're going to highlight the most memorable Prachaska finishes. This man knows how to heat up the cage, and knock people out cold. Toughness shown on each side. Oh! Big elbow! Oh! Early in his amateur career, the Czech was known as a Muay Thai practitioner, and under this rule set, he became a national champion. Nevertheless, a year later, the avid finisher was graduating to the pro level in MMA. Yuri became a made man in the local promotion named Gladiator FC. By the spring of 2013, he had scored five victories which never went to the judges. During a scrap in May of 2013, Radovan Istochin went into a frantic exchange from the very first seconds. But clearly underestimating the caliber of the Muay Thai virtuoso, Istochin collapsed. After demonstrating a lack of combat know-how, the Croatian caught a flying knee and was sent all the way to another realm. The 20-year-old Prohaska, who added Denisa as his nickname, was called on by the Russian organization Fight Nights. The wild banger was going one-on-one -on -one with the national grappling champion, Abdul Kirim Edilov. Yuri wanted to make it quick, but Edilov dragged him to the ground and tightened the choke around his neck. <laughs> After returning to his homeland and upgrading his image with a beard, Prachaska was set to face off with a hardened veteran, Martin Schultz, in December. The light heavyweight title of Gladiator FC was at stake. Therefore, neither opponent was holding back any of their fury. Tak, Procházka skvěle ustála, okamžitě vrací. Klepáno. The Braveheart Schultz withstood three rounds of hefty hits. Které inkasují oba, ale trošku více Schultz. Jenže vrací okamžitě a ještě jednou. But it was not for nothing that Denise had been zeroing in with his knees the whole fight. The clash was brought to a finish in the 14th minute. A robust defense was unable to deny the flying knee. Schultz was flattened on the canvas, and Prochaska left the battlefield with his first belt. In 2014, it became clear that the local MMA promotion wasn't the right fit for the Czech fighter. When the 21-year-old prodigy was pitted against a worthy striker, Yuri put his grappling skills on display and dealt with his rival with style. In his first and only Gladiator FC title defense, Prochaska's opponent didn't even make it to the minute mark. When the matchmakers ran out of options, an unbeaten heavyweight Darko Stocic was brought from Serbia with a 4-0 record. Despite the fact that he was a 10-time national champion in judo, the Serbian raging bull always preferred to swing fists. From the very beginning, Darko was bombarded with Yuri's signature moves. In response, Stošić rushed forward and stunned Prochaska for a second. Denisa lived through the weighty hooks and went into a counteroffensive. 
A tady prokázal další věc, že tu bradu nemá skleněnou. Fantastický zerák. A to se také je. The clash of the two high-class prospects lasted 69 intense seconds. Nice. Truly massive local success promoted Yuri to the big stage of MMA. In 2015, the Czech beast was in the spotlight of every major organization. By the end of the year, his record was 14 and 2, with all wins by finishes. Along the way, Prochaska paid a visit to Russia, where Yevgeny Kondratov had the misfortune to share the same cage with him. The killing spree reached nine, and Yuri finally made a choice between the West and the East. On December 29th, the Japanese Ryzen promotion was holding the first heavyweight Grand Prix and was recruiting talents like crazy. In the quarterfinals, Satoshi Ishii had to verify Prochaska's skill set. The Olympic judo champion with a score of 15 and 5 had seen it all. And took great pleasure in getting some mighty submissions. From the beginning, Ishii tried to close the distance and transfer the fight to the ground, but the Czech denied him a takedown. After introducing the opponent to his signature knees, Yuri successfully evaded close quarters scrapping. Expertly maintaining the distance, Prochaska defended against a lunge and immediately punished Ishii with a lengthy attack. И похоже, сейчас будет добивание, говорит, глухая защита, все, все, Сатоси Иси. The combination of fast hooks and a high kick ended in a clinical blow to the temple. Brutal knees wrapped up the battle. Despite being a fierce striker, Prochaska spent the lion's share of his career in Japan fighting grapplers. One of them was veteran Kazuyuki Fujita, aka the Iron Head. In the old days, he could withstand any beating and then finish the adversary on the ground. The million dollar hit against the last emperor still makes the all-time highlights. But in April of 2016, Fujita planned nothing but to wrestle his opponent. Evading takedowns, Prochaska thought he had the bout in the bag. But not so fast. After that, Yuri pulled himself together and pinned his rival to the floor. Oh, Prochaska made a name for himself by cutting down the samurai with a rapid series of punches. Oh. The scrap against Carl Albrechtson was no different. The Swede wasted no time to drag Yuri to the ground. This is exactly what Albrechtson wanted. Where they spent the next several minutes in wrestling duels. Gets out a good job from. The timing is generally off and boom, shit across the head. But here's Albrechtson saying you're not doing that again. 30 seconds before the end of the round, the Czech got up and went all in. By Albrechtson now. Uh -oh. 20 seconds, oh. he drops him. The cracks in Carl's defense started to show while Denisa continued to beat the daylights out of him. Taking the shots, hair flying uh -oh. everywhere. It's it, it's over, it's over. Referee says that is enough right before the final bell. By 2018, Yuri had become a real star of the Ryzen promotion. Jay Kuhn was the first to be thrown to the wolves in the sequence of main events. In the beginning, the American warrior managed to land a few good hits. Nice oh, enough. Wow. Oh, oh, nice spinning fist. But Prochaska found his rhythm and then pulled off a chain of knockdowns by viciously attacking Hume's chin. Prochaska with a beautiful right hand! After Jake was sent to the floor twice, the skirmish ended in a technical knockout. Prochaska's gonna keep putting the pressure on. Oh, another right, left, right, left, right, landed again, it's over! The referee has had enough! 
Four months later, the former Bellator champion Brandon Halsey was determined to test Yuri's endurance as well as his patience. Bellator middleweight world At the start, Denise's takedown defense failed, and he was forced to struggle for oxygen in a tight choke. A couple of minutes later, Prakashka's own mistake led to yet another suffocation attempt. Oh, he left his head he up. left his head right up what there. What the heck was he doing? But Halsey got exhausted, and a total disgrace began to form. He hid behind the ropes. Brandon P. Look, there's a left there. Don't you... Fell out of the ring. And even faked an eye poke. Air poke to the eye. Enraged, Yuri in response tried to strangle his American foe. And when that did not work out, the Czech buried him under a barrage of blows. Chasing his opponent down the mat, underneath the armpit. Dangerous stuff here. Up, this could be it. It's over. It is all. By the end, nobody was rooting for Halsey. Denisa took the microphone and declared that he would destroy anyone who stands in his path. In 2019, Ryzen ran out of pushovers for Prakaska, and they brought out the heavy artillery of UFC veterans. Fabio Maldonado worked very well for his fee by pretending to be a punching bag for two solid minutes. Oh, and a nice right landed there, and he drops. A ticket to the UFC became the best Christmas present that Yuri could have ever hoped for. All he had to do was beat C.B. Dalloway in his first defense of the Ryzen light heavyweight belt. Although Dalloway's career was going downhill, his experience, as well as being labeled a guillotine expert, guaranteed he'd pose a problem. He's got it! He's tapping! It's all over! CB started with low kicks, hoping to break his opponent's movement mechanics. There's another one. There. However, by connecting a left hand, he unleashed the beast. Prohaska, it did not take long. One, wow. two punches. Game. Pushing Dalloway up against the ropes, Prahaska took him out with his left hook. It showed that he deserved to set foot in the octagon. Over the first 10 years in MMA, Yuri surprisingly had only three Brazilian opponents, all strikers. In 2017, William Alves came to the Czech Republic from the homeland of BJJ. Oh boy. First, at first, the Brazilian fighter felt easy and more than once surprised Yuri with his signature left hook. Oh. In the third minute, Prochaska came around and started cracking his chin. Oh. Alves wasn't giving up. He even got right back up after a knockdown. Ah, but the Czech Predator didn't leave his prey a single chance. That evening, Williams stood firm, but Prochaska had dealt with tougher rivals. A year later, Bruno Capeloza arrived in Japan. The jungle fight champion in two weight classes had all 10 victories by knockout. All the time. The Brazilian striker went in strong, and already in the second minute sent Yuri to the canvas with an accurate jab. Bruno had endeavored to close the deal, but failed miserably. Walk into it. Oh, Prohaska's taking a shot. Don't rush, I told you. Don't rush. He got up and staggered around, losing his balance twice. Violence here. Look at the violence here. Getting out of the way. Bobby and Reedy use this for rookie. Drops him again. Is the referee going to step in his... Prohaska struck Capeloza down one last time and concluded the bout. You have hurt. He and won't ruin you. It's, a a it's, it's over, Frank. I yeah. wasn't even, I didn't have a chance to say that this round... A chain of knockdowns sent another passenger on the ghost train. Brazilian contenders have never been lucky with the Czech monster.
Mohamed Lawal has done more for the sport than even his most die-hard fans will ever remember. King Mo brought in future legends, picked up the Bellator Tournament Championship, as well as Strikeforce title. And his knockouts? They are simply impossible to forget. But he made history in 2015. At the Ryzen Heavyweight World Grand Prix, Lawal got himself two consecutive wins and proceeded to the final. In the main event, he was facing Prahazka, who kicked Satoshi Ishii out of the tournament, and then defeated the Russian Sambo specialist Vadim Nimkov. At the start of the Grand Prix final, Yuri looked great in the vertical plane. However, when King Mo took him down, Denise was having a time as hard as the ground beneath him. When the fighters got back up, Prahaska drastically underestimated his opponent's power. The triumph became the pinnacle of Lawal's career. They met again four years later when Ryzen's inaugural light heavyweight belt was on the line. Fantastic individual. In the beginning of the bout, King Mo was unexpectedly successful with his sweeping low kicks. Level change. But Yuri continued staying out and eventually broke through Mo's defense with punches in bunches. Flying knee coming down the pipe. His feet have to be stationary his shoes. Oh, he's By the third round, only the Call of Duty was keeping the totally exhausted Lawal on his feet. Oh, nice punch there by Prohaska. Prohaska did not try to get involved in wild exchanges and detonated only in the 14th minute. King Mo covering up. King Mo's covering up. Prohaska's going in there for the finish. That goes, it's over. Yeah. We have a new light heavyweight. King Mo's beating made Prahaska the shogun of Ryzen. And if you if you don't think after signing with the UFC in 2020 with a score of 26 and 3 with 23 knockouts, Yuri jumped straight into title contention. In July, he was facing Volkan Uzdemir. The seventh-ranked Swiss man had a reputation of a seasoned tough guy. He has never been faceplanted in his entire career and got 12 KOs out of 17 victories. After challenging the current champion and failing, Vulcan did snatch himself two wins and was craving to return to the elite. We'll see how it goes. Brahaska was the underdog, but the thrill of a big fight was overwhelming. Wow. He's playing games, he's talking to him. Uzdemir wasn't messing around either and reciprocated with a number of heavy blows near the fence. Prohaska coming in, wins over CB Dahl. He's a little wobbled there, seems to have recovered, but you know... So At the end of the round, Yuri received another few punches to the dome and lost the round. Israel Adesanya, guys who want to be able to compete at the elite level. However, he was in high spirits in the corner. The game was on. After the break, the Czech suddenly unsheathed a high kick. Inside leg kick there, and a high kick. Oh, he's wobbled. And got what he came for. Went for the flying knee. Oh, oh there it is! Yuri Prohaska! Baby boy! Welcome to the big show! Uzdemir was taken aback and sent off the arena with a trusty old 1-2. The 11th victory in a row was now a candidate for knockout of the year. Went for the flying knee. Oh! On May 21st, Yuri's title shot was at stake. A prolific finisher, Dominic Reyes, was third in the rankings and had an identical killer instinct. He did things to John Jones that nobody had ever been able to do. In a face-to-face -face clash, Reyes was about to test Prochaska's chin. 
Dominic sent a couple blows in the debut of the fight. Conventional approach. Oh, oh, nice left. Yuri was fast to respond. Hunting the oh. And went into a full on offensive mode until the buzzer. Three heavy now shots. Now we're going to put it together. Reyes on the run hurt. a little bit here. Seconds of round number one. Tick away, but not after another big combination. And there's the horn. In the second round, Reyes, still dazzled, continued taking blows to his bare head. By all night. How about this? this? Oh, stiff jab from Velasco. Now he's trying to send By the ninth minute, Dominic snapped back and managed to counter. Covered in blood right now and just choked him back. Prochaska stumbled for a second, but was ready to start the final countdown. Back. Toughness shown on each side. Oh. Spinning elbow! Oh. Wow. Gary Prochaska! With a crazy spinning elbow, Yuri made his rival fall face first on the canvas. Prochaska got the Knockout of the Year award, and most importantly, a title shot. Toughness shown on each side. On harsh MMA grounds, Prochaska is considered an unmistakable exception to the rule. In his overlong march to the octagon, the Czech Grenadier destroyed more than one platoon of recognized veterans. With only three runs in the UFC, Denisa defeated top contenders and seized the most precious strap in MMA. The light heavyweight division fans are in for a treat. If you want to see another lean, mean fighting machine in action, then don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Toughness shown on each side. Oh.